Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I was asked a really interesting question um, by a subscriber that emailed me and said, hey, I see you've had a gazillion Hobonichi Weeks covers from a lot of different makers. Which ones are your favorite and why and why not? So it made me look through my unboxing um, list, which I will put in the description box. So if you want to look at each one of them, if some of them are interesting to you, and I'll give you my opinions on some of them I regret selling, obviously. <laughs> I always do. It's more about making space for what I have now. Um, I'll start by um, some of the stuff that I see a lot. So I see a lot of mo Motorm um, covers and the Giglio covers. Both of these are very popular now. I had bought the Motorm not in the weeks. I'm just, I was turned off by the leather. It's definitely, once you've gone with Sojourner or Shakespeare, it's really hard, I think, to go to that. Um, the Giglio was surprising to me because the leather didn't feel like I thought it would feel. And in fact, to be completely honest, the Eternal Leather Goods feel more like what I expected the uh, Giglio Punto to feel. Now I understand I bought it uh, pre-loved, so I know there's also different types of leather leathers. Like I see the um, vendor specs look like exactly. I see, you know, we're all looking at videos and we're seeing at the texture and how people are holding it and how it's like moving under their fingers. And that's basically looks like amazing leather. Like I have to say, I, I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, but I can't, it's a little too much for me. Uh, expense wise but I can see the appeal it's the luxury brand well the Giglio I was surprised I did buy it pre-love but I was surprised by um, I liked it but there were other leathers I liked more right because that's how you make the decision that's how I always made the decision which one do I want to keep and which one do I want to not keep the two from Chick Sparrow that I completely regret like sad sobbing selling were the Americano and the Earl Grey. I actually had forgotten I had it. And to be completely fair, I prefer her old simple weeks design. Um, I do like pockets sometimes, but I don't really use them. So uh, when I've had like the, the new design, it just feels like too bulky. And I'm realizing I do like that compact feeling, which you get I mean, this one from the right is amazing. I didn't know if it's the right or the cow, but I pre-love from Mitz. And this, this is just, you can put it with the cover, which the Eternal Leather Goods, you cannot. I cannot fit it with the cover on cover for the weeks. And I love this. I love the uh, compact feeling. And that's what I'm growing to realize. I like this plus, of course, the quality of the leather. I love when it patinas, this type of leather. Lorite has a lot of leathers that are shiny from the get-go. And I think that's one of the appeals of his leathers. The leathers, my goodness, my accent's gonna come, become worse and worse as I go. Leathers, so that is the beauty of it is that um, his are like come already pre-patinaed, if you, if you will, but they, he has also very different ones, in my opinion. They're very unique. Um, this one from Eternal Leather Goods, you've seen it over and over, and I think Toxmox has it. She was the reason I got this one. And it comes really matte when you get it. Also, don't forget this one is the natural, but it patinas so, so fast. I think I may have conditioned it. I can't remember. I'm sure I said it in the video but probably did and now i have to reopen because that's where i put my notes um because i wanted to be fair um in sojourner i used to have the travel trifold without the pocket in weeks part of me it's the caribou uh, leather part of me wishes i had kept it because her leathers really age beautifully and i think i would have really loved it especially with the mega i thought it was almost too bulky for a small one but the me mega i think would look and feel really right um, in the travel trifold. I mean travel trifold because there's also, also travel trifolio, but I do like having my pen and the travel trifold, you just have the cover and you can use that as a pen loop. So for me, I prefer the travel trifold instead of the trifolio. If you don't mind not having a pen, there's other ways you can do it. I know you can put like a clip on your bookmark and a lot of people do that. That's fine. I like having mine in there. So those are my thoughts. One that I never got in the weeks, 
but I had in a B6, B6 limb from Sojourner which the special brown times three, which meant it was special brown for this. I think the inside pockets and the outside pocket. It was a beautiful cover and I sold it because I decided to downsize the amount of sizes I was using. I really like the B6 slim size, but at the same time, how many journals can you have? I'm really trying to be more realistic about what I can keep up with. However, this is one that I thought often like, oh, what if I got that one in weeks? Because it, it is, it's very floppy. So it would be the same type as this kind of a thing. Although his has a this leather itself has a little bit of a pull, but hers would be so compact, perfect, floppy, beautiful, like kind of thing. But you would have to put, I think for it to work and feel right in the special brown times three, you would have to put both, um, both sides in it. So then that sturdiness from the book stays. That's because that's what I like though. So that's one. Le right, um, if you look through my unboxing, I had one Le right that was like his thicker natural undyed leather. And I ended up selling it because it felt too stiff for me. In hindsight, now that I know leather a little more, I think it would have been oh, so beautiful to keep it and work it and have it soften it and mark and tan and all that stuff. However, it had also a lot of pockets. I think it probably was on my first designs and when you give me too many options, sometimes it gets overwhelming. So that is the thing. But this one is one of my favorites from him. I have so many covers from the right lookout that I've sold and regretted. Um, there was like that peacock leather, um, which is a trifold. There was an A6, but those are, he makes incredible covers and his leathers are buttery. I don't know how else to say it, buttery, scrumptious, um, kind of like, I, that's what I go towards, right? The caribou as well as the Elgri and the Americano, they become really buttery once you work them and it's beautiful. Um, one that didn't work for me at all is the Apple Pig Leather Art. Um, again, if you're not familiar, you can look through my videos. I'll have them all add to the playlist. Um, it's more of a wallet, multi-function, you put your um, you know, you weeks in there, you put your credit card, your ID, your pen. It was like a chunky thing and that's not what I gravitate towards. Um, and this is specifically for that. I think the beauty of Chic Sparrow is you can go either way because of the elastic. You can either keep it really slim or you can chunk it up. And I think that's why she's so popular um, across that kind of market. Um, same with these though. I mean, as you know, I'll do, I'm going to do a video showing the ones that I have in use, but since I did that video, my uh, cover collection, of course, I think there's a clown car outside. sounds like it. Um, I changed all my covers and I put my illustrated journal back in there and I forgot how much I love it in there. And then I put my friend's um, awesome pin. Uh, his name is Scott Froshauer. He's an old friend of mine and he does amazing art. You might have seen the street sign. I think some of them are in New York. They're everywhere and they're amazing. And he does great stickers. I actually went onto his website because I was like, wow, what? can I buy one of those from you? He was like, yeah, yeah, it's on my website. And then I got distracted and I got a bunch of stickers. And then I realized I never got this, but I got it. It's um, beautiful. It says um, life on one side and it looks like a little ticket, right? Must be present to win. And I think it's very good for a journal, right? Look at his stickers too. I, in my next video, I will show you um, the stuff that I got from him. Um, Another company that's really um, popular is Hand Stitch Leather Art. I had a uh, Hand Stitch Leather Tee. I've had a few of their covers in different sizes, and I don't love their leather. And it's interesting because I will say, in gallon leather, this type of leather, I don't love, but for some reason, with this design, it works perfectly. So there's also a balance of what you use for what and again very personal if we could all go to the store and touch all these handmade leather covers there probably wouldn't be as many of us on youtube trying to help each other on what you want to get um, for vegans there are two options that i know of i think documented journey does weeks covers with her core covers which are great um, also there's a company called cadeneta 
which is in, she's from Spain, and she does vegan leather uh, covers. So I'll put, I'll find Cadeneta's link, I think she's on Etsy, and obviously I'll put all the links in the description box of all the covers I'm going through. And I think, oh, and Gallon Leather has, as far as I know, at the time, had one Hobonichi Weeks cover. And I made a video about it because when it got here, it was the same size as my Traveler's Notebook. And I was like, well, I prefer the Traveler's Notebook, um, the Travel's Company Leather, so why am I using this? It, it was really big and I didn't love it. So I ended up, again, reselling it. As you know, I don't have that many and I'm talking about the ones that kind of wish I still had. But right now, I'm super happy with my Lorite and Eternal Leather goods. I really love these two covers where I don't even know, you know, I don't even want to introduce another one because I don't want to have more than two, except that right now I'm using a mega for my journal and at this rate I am writing in my diary, this is probably going to be around for a while, which is fine. So this is going to stay here, but while when I looked at the video I missed the Americano and the Earl Grey in this, the type of design I seem to gravitate towards and that took that many covers for me to discover. I know which leathers I like, but the covers are the ones that are really compact. Um, I think I mentioned in another video, I use some of the pockets, but the truth of the matter is if I, for example, put something in the back pocket, I forget it's there. Everything has to be in front of me, otherwise I forget it's there. And that's how my brain works. I'm um, the same with clothes. If I don't go through my closet every so often, I forget that I have some stuff. I'm like, oh, it's already like going shopping. Shopping my stash happens to me daily i don't i don't know my brain doesn't have the mental space in fact i just redid um the organization and don't want to say it's super clean but because i want to have all the stuff like i have i found a way to have all the washies that i still have because i downside quite a bit and i have them in the gallon leather tray that the a5 came into and that way it's tucked right here and I can see all of them and I'm using them, which is fantastic because I want to be using the stuff I have. I don't like accumulating. Um, I did make a video, it'll be in one of my slice of life where you see me empty this thing and then, which is covered in cat hair, um, and then going through all the stickers and kind of organizing little by little and that kind of started a whole thing in the drawers. I completely went on the uh, tangent. So I think I went through all of them. Modern, Chic Sparrow, Sojourner, Lorite Lecao, Apple Pig, Hand Stitch Leather Tea, Cadenetta and Documented Journey, Gilio, Eterno Leather Goods. I can't speak for Vander Spec. Again, it looks scrumptious. It's one of those where you're like, ooh, the leather is like... I also didn't like... <laughs> In the Gilio, I didn't like that it was pointy. I realized I like a little more of a rounded uh, corner, which I didn't even realize Shakespeare does. I didn't really um, register that as, oh, that's why I like this, um, until I got the Gilio and I realized, oh, it's, it's like pointy on the side and it feels like it's flimsy. Same, look at that. Boom. I don't, I didn't even, most people do that. The Gilio doesn't do that. If I'm wrong, correct me but that's what I remember not liking about it so yeah I hope that helps if you're in the market for Hobonichi cover I hope I explained well enough why I like the things I like also uh, eternal leather cover they have pocket options too if you want um, again I'm not a pocket person so sometimes I'm like oh I should have gotten it but I don't use them and so why have them um, but yeah the companies that I think they're all good in their own way, right? But I do, for the Hobonichi Weeks, I do think that the main, like, Chic Sparrow is great, the Right Lecao, Sojourner is great, even though I don't have um, Weeks cover, I wish I had kept this one for Weeks, and then Eternal Leather Goods. For me, those are like the four main ones. Um, the other ones, uh, they didn't always resonate, including the very fantastic Giulio Apunto, which I know 
people might get mad at me, but I hope you don't. I really liked it while I had it, but then I realized I liked other stuff more. And this is such a personal thing, which again, is what I'm trying to explain why my personal choice is that. So you can decide, maybe you're like, oh, I love this. Maybe you love pockets. Maybe you love the angle corner. Maybe you don't know, everybody's different. So hopefully that helps. And um, thanks for the question. It was a good question. And thanks for watching if you're still here. <laughs> Bye.